Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and welcome back to another episode of my playlist, Every Effect in Adobe Premiere Pro Explained. In this episode, we're wrapping up the video effects folder with the utility and video folder. We're going to do those together. These are kind of like the bits and ends, some more utilitarian stuff rather than creative. But let's jump into it with the only thing in the utility folder, which is the Cineon Converter. The Cineon Converter is made to convert Cineon clips. This was a specific type of film scan developed by Kodak originally. What, what I have here is a actual film scan of some Super 8 film. If you are familiar with curves and color, this is kind of like log footage. And when you add the Cineon converter, you have the option to change it from linear to log, log to linear, or log to log. If I make it linear to log, you see it changes this logarithmic contrast curve into a more linear contrast curve. That's a very basic explanation. And if you want to go more in depth on this one, I would just recommend checking out the Wikipedia page for Cineon and looking into a little bit more. You're likely not going to be using this one unless you're working with specific types of file formats. And in the next folder, we have the video clip effects. These are also a little bit more for if you're working in a team, just stuff that has a little bit of function and utility to it. For example, the clip name, when you click it on, it just drags the name of the clip onto the actual clip. And in the effects control panel, you can just adjust like where it is, the size of it. Along with that, we have the time code, which also just displays the current time code of the clip. You can set it in different settings like frames, like which actual frame or feet and or or the time. You can also change the source so on just this clip alone, it's the ninth second, but on the entire media, it might be something else. We also have simple text. This is like the previous two. However, this one just allows us to add our own text. So if I wanted, I can type whatever I want there. Sample, sample text, the same idea for reference between team members. But I suppose for this one, you could add simple captions or something though there's probably better ways to do that with the actual captions tool or to the essential graphics panel if you're if you're really trying to add text this is a very basic quick simple text tool as its name suggests and lastly we have sdr conform so there's high dynamic range footage and standard dynamic range uh, this one just takes your footage and conforms it to a standard dynamic range i suppose if you're working with a certain monitor or you need to display it on a certain standard dynamic range. This could come in handy, but this is another one where the use case of it is going to be quite technical and you might not be reaching for it that all that often. So that is all of the video effects in this last video. If you missed some of the previous ones, we went through every single folder in the next video. We're going to quickly go over what's left here in all the video transitions, just to show you these are a little bit different than the effects and even the transition effect folder. But if you're enjoying this series, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of the new videos. You can check out all of the videos in this series on a playlist on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you over in the next one.